here to introduce a new program, the Bent Tree Pull-Up Challenge. <laughs> We're not talking about that kind of pull-up. We're not talking about having to be super strong. We're talking about something that everybody can do to get rid of the evil that haunts Bent Tree. Dun, dun, dun. Stilt grass. I want the time. You gotta yell. I want the time. Oh, pull-ups? Yeah. We're not talking about that kind of pull-ups either. <laughs> We're talking. <laughs> We're talking about stilt grass. You mean this? Exactly. We want to get a hundred people to pull up a hundred handfuls of stilt grass a day for a hundred days. That's a million handfuls of stilt grass. I know I've talked about this before but I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this stilt grass. First of all, this is real, live stilt grass. <gasps> Let me educate you folks about how to tell what it is. All right. I want to ask Avi to pass around this basket. It's got some stilt grass in it so you can see it. It's kind of like a flower girl at a wedding. She's gonna pass it around and let everybody have a little bit so you can see for yourself what it looks like. Can you pass that around to these fine folks, Amy? You just take, now y'all keep it all for yourselves. Let the people in the back get some. Go ahead, honey, ain't she cute? She's just the cutest thing. She's gonna let you touch it and feel it and smell it and see what it looks like. All right. Now here's what you're looking for when you're looking for stilt grass out in the wild. It has leaves about two to four, two, two to four inches long and they're pointy at both ends. Right? It has a little silvery kind of line right down the middle. Some people say it's reflective and the bigger it gets, the bigger that line gets. It's not quite in the center. It has a very, very weak root system. Like, it doesn't eject when you try to pull it up because it doesn't have, it has very shallow roots. So if you're trying, to, if, you, if you're out there when you do this challenge and you're struggling to pull something up, then that ain't still grass. Because still grass will not fight you back. It comes right up. Especially when it's wet, it's like cutting butter. It just comes right up. And it can grow a foot tall, but when it really gets going later in the summer, it can be four feet tall. It'd be almost waist high. But what's wrong with it? I've never seen it. Darling, what's wrong with it? Well, I reckon it ain't worth a hill of beans. It don't belong here in Georgia, first of all, but we got more of it than Carter got little pills. It grows up higher than all the pretty little plants that ought to be out there. So it takes all the sun and shades them out and then they can't grow, right? And like I said, its roots ain't worth nothing. So it doesn't help with soil erosion at all. But it makes it where the plants that might help the soil stay in place, they can't grow because there's that still grass taking up all that room. And heck, the deer don't even eat it. And they eat everything. Right now, we're gonna have a little test here just to see how good y'all are because I don't need a bunch of people that ain't worth more than a screen door on a submarine trying to help find this stilt grass. So, all right, that's what it looks like. Everybody got it? You got some in the basket that's coming around. Got a little flower girl, she's coming around, she's so cute. That's what it looks like. But now, let me show you. All right, now how about that? Is that still grass? No. no. Oh, they might just get it. How about that one? No. no. Oh. All right, you're right. You're right, though. That's not. That's like maybe nimble wheel or some other kind of grass. It kind of sometimes.
still grass looks like other things. How about that? Is that still grass? Yes. <gasps> They're so good. I'm so proud of y'all. I am so proud of y'all. Okay. Now, I think they might get it. I just think they might be good. Now, you go ahead and tell them more about this challenge. We're going to have a kickoff on June 5th, and it's going to run until September 12th. Each day you pull up a hundred handfuls of stilt grass and record it on a calendar. Yeah, but I'm not gonna be here all the time. That's cool. The calendar is really for your convenience. It's there just so every time you pull up a hundred handfuls of stilt grass, you check it off. You can work a couple of days ahead, or in fact, if you miss a couple of days, then you can make it up. You know, most of us can start right away because you probably will find it in your own backyard. Just get in there. Is that is easy. so easy. I told you it was easy. Let's see. It's not that I can't pull up still grass, but what about people that aren't able to? What can they do to help? We need everybody's help. There's a couple of things you can do. For example, you can work with a friend or a group of you can get together. You can even make it a family project. You can do it! <laughs> you can. You can. Girls, ladies, y'all are so good. Yeah. You can depend on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Absolutely. You guys are a hoot. 